we are here to discuss the lean system and innovation chapter in ca final scmp you will try to do within 20 minutes okay i'll skip the test target how okay. game yeah let's begin lean system lean system is an organized method for waste minimization without sacrificing the productivity within a max, uh, manufacturing system so my uh, key objective is the waste minimization lean implementation emphasizes the importance of optimizing workflow through strategic operational procedures while minimizing waste and being adaptable there are seven types of waste is quite important okay transportation inventory motion waiting over processing over production and defects there are seven different types of waste there could be a question which has three to four waste okay but the, you have to identify and write the relevant points that could be a test for you okay let's repeat transportation inventory motion waiting over processing over production and defects most of the lean system techniques are based on the following principles the first time a uh, perfect first time quality waste minimization continuous improvement and flexibility perfect first time quality remember the tagline doing right things at the right time okay even on the first time okay that could be things uh the characteristics of lean manufacturing this could be a thing which can fight in every question zero waiting time zero inventory pull processing continuous flow of production continuous finding ways of reducing the process time okay so first let's understand about the just in time we all know right pull uh it's based on pull system it's producing as and when it is required that's what is just in time right cima defines it as system whose objective is to produce or procure products as they are required by a customer for use rather than for stock it is based on pull system which responds to demand in contrast to push system in which stocks act as a buffer between the different elements of system purchasing production and sales a complete jit begins with production includes deliveries to customer a company's production facility continues through the manufacturing plant and even includes a type of transaction processed by the accounting system what are the features of jit this could be a question you could write at least four you have to write at least four features features sorry features okay what are those spare parts are material from supplier on the exact date and exact time when they are needed exact date and exact time when they are needed straight delivery to the production floor visit of engineering staff at the supplier site to examine here the appraisal cost will be incurred where i will uh, i mean employ my employees to do the inspection at the supplier's place installation of edi that tells supplier how much exactly is required and when to be sent dropping of products at specified machine shorten the setup times eliminating the need for long production when training of to employees how to operate multitude of machines see we have that u type pass system right where you should put the first press then a single employee could man, uh, maintain all three machines together several alterations in the supporting accounting systems now What are the prerequisites of JIT? I should have a low variety of goods. And their sup- vendor should supply should be reliable, good communication, demand stability, TQM, defect-free materials, and preventive maintenance. What are the impact of JIT? Where it all impact? It impacts on the waste cost. Waste waste cost gets sharp drop. Overhead cost. There is no much uh, handling things because everything is within a particular unit, right? So less overhead cost. Product quality. When company achieves a higher level of product quality, it could be able to demand higher prices. performance measurement in jit system many of the performance measurements measures used in under traditional accounting system are not useful in the jit while unique measures are there like machine utilization measurements can be discarded in the jit system another name no problem measurement type is a piece rate another type of direct labor efficiency tracking is highly inappropriate installing jit system does not mean that there should be a complete elimination of operational measures back flushing is nothing but the accounting system which we maintain under the jit system then we then move on to the case and costing case and costing this philosophy in pl- see case is, is only view is that small and continuous improvement should be there small and continuous improvement should be there case and the one thing which you should strike your mind when i tell case and is small and continuous improvement small and continuous improvement let's repeat no matter what see just one or one and a half months you are going to repeat it then you are not going to do it right so please repeat it small and continuous improvement small incremental changes routinely applied and sustained over a longer period result in significant improvement the system seeks gradual improvement in existing situation at acceptable cost collective decision making no limits to the level of improvements it involves setting standards and then continually improving focus on eliminating waste improving systems and improving productivity involves all employees in all areas of business now 
We are then moving on to five ways. Five ways. What are the five ways? So chapter number five. Right? Sairi, Seiton, Seizo, Sekitsu, and Shishuku. Shitsuke. Shitsuke. Sairi, Seiton, Seizo, Sekitsu, and Shitsuke. See, I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right. Please don't judge based on it. Okay. Clear. Okay. It explains how a workspace should be organized for efficiency and effectiveness by identifying and storing the items uh, used and maintaining the areas and items and sustaining the order. See, in your houses, if you have the uh, grandparents, they used to say, whenever you are taking something, you have to keep in the right place again. Otherwise, please don't take it. Please don't use it. Right? You would have heard it. Most probably, most of us would have heard it. Right? So that's what I have to first sort it. they have already done it okay more grand grandmothers have already done it right so they have have sorted everything perfectly if you take paper new paper should be there in a particular place if you will get one if you go to get grandparents home then you will get no where paper it will be in the first room you will know it right set an order i have to keep all things in necessary order if you see their uh, cupboards also all the pants will be in one side all the shirts will be in one side right all the sarees will be on one side All the occasional wear should be on the other side. So all they have been set in order. Shine. They will be cleaning. If you see in the Dana house, our okay? grandparents' house will be much better. True, right? Dana. Okay. Saying so Dana room, our grandparents' house itself will be better. Okay. They will be cleaning on a daily basis. They don't want uh, to see any dust anywhere. Then standardize. They will keep this standard, and they are practicing it for a long time. Since this, I know they are practicing this, and we are not able to do it. Right? Okay. Fine. <laughs> sustain not harmful anyone see they are not harming us they are not telling us to follow okay they will tell us for one or two times then they will check they will check whether we are doing if you are not doing they will leave you don't do use it they tell you don't use it if you are not keeping the right place please don't use it so sustain so see it is to maintain the discipline they have that kind of discipline okay sort set in order shine standardize and sustain Five S methodology is being applied to wide variety of industries. Then we have total productive maintenance. And total productive maintenance is a system of maintaining and improving the integrity of production and quality systems. See, here it is based on five S principles along with eight other principles, eight other pillars. This is known as eight other pillars. Okay, let's see that. This could be again a question. Okay, all these small small things could be a question. That's why I'm focusing more on those. Okay. autonomous maintenance planned maintenance focused improvement early equipment okay i think i could uh, zoom it for you for this salon okay uh, let me try to zoom it wait hope it's just now visible right don't expect me to do this for uh, entire uh, session but this is white background so that's why i have i mean white i don't know font color okay autonomous maintenance planned maintenance focused improvement early equipment management quality maintenance education and training tpm in the office and uh, safety environmental and safety and environmental management let's repeat the eight pillars again autonomous maintenance planned maintenance focused improvement early equipment management quality maintenance education and training tpm in the office safety and environmental management autonomous maintenance planned maintenance focused improvement early equipment management quality maintenance education and training tpm in the office safety and uh, environmental management okay let's back go back to the original size it's not the original size let's just give me a minute yeah. okay i think 200 could be better okay this is fine right okay, let me keep in this one performance management measurement in tpm the most important approach to the measurement of tpm is known as overall equipment effectiveness overall equipment effectiveness nothing but performance into availability into quality performance ratio into availability ratio into quality ratio performance ratio should be greater than 95 percentage quality should be greater than 99 percentage and availability should be greater than 90 percentage which means whenever i'm thinking a particular uh, uh okay machine that should be available for me at 90 percentage of times okay that is not equal 90 percentage should be available performance like employees performance should be at the ratio of 95 percentage efficiency okay and then the quality should be in the good stuff producing the quality should be at least 99 percentage it is 99 percentage okay and this is the measures okay approximately the world class performance is at 85 percentage this total oe percentage is world class is 85 percentage okay and oe if greater than 50 percentage is more realistic then therefore more acceptable target cellular manufacturing system cellular manufacturing system this is a subsystem of uh, git and lean system okay cellular manufacturing system this is a group technology is a group technology group technology what are the goals it is to make as quick move as quick as possible like we are studying as quick as possible we are revising as as quick as possible they are moving it as quick as possible then making a wide variety of similar products making little waste 
as possible and then six sigma it is the quality improvement technique whose objective is to eliminate the defects in any aspect that affects the customer satisfaction i have to eliminate the defects six sigma is eliminate the defects six sigma eliminate the defects zero defect is the main objective of six sigma zero defect like we say case and continuous improvement like six sigma we have to say zero defects this is the key was you have to remember okay if it is tpm you have to remember it as improving the integrity of production and quality uh, systems i think and then this uh, eight pillars would be there for tpm and then if it is five years it's a uh, japanese method it has uh, sought it in order shine standardize and sustain okay i guess you have to remember numerical concept of six sigma sigma is a statistical term right six sigma says that 3.4 defects only should be there in million out of million million is equal to i not 10 lakhs right so one million is nothing but 10 lakhs so for out of 10 lakhs products i produce only 3.4 should be defective it's high quality right so that's what the defect percentage is there as per uh, six sigma it's right 99.999666 percentage i'm going to get the right thing okay only point some zero point zero 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 something as defective could be there okay implementation of six sigma there are two methodologies one sorry, i'm sorry two methodologies are there one is dmaic dmaic this is uh tested my exam i had my entered my exam in may 22 okay yeah this uh six sigma must get tested by that time dmaic d define measure analyze control improve and control say existing process if it is there i am going to improve it okay that's known as existing process improve dma ic okay dma ic if i have to define the problem measure the process currently analyze why i could make the changes and then i have to improve and then i have to control the uh, process and then this is for dma ic is for you see if it is for improve i could improve only the existing process not improve the new process right that's what it's very simple like that okay d m d a d v d e d is like i would develop a new process d m a d v develop a new process or design a new process define measure analyze design and verify define measure analyze design and verify define measure analyze design and verify this is for a new product keeping in mind the six sigma quality levels let's move on what dma dv and dma ic are fundamental six sigma methodologies for improving quality of goods and process broadly dma ic it is for improving the existing process by dma dv is for new process ic improve improve existing processes design new process lean six sigma lean six sigma is a continuation of lean and six sigma which helps in achieve greater results that has not been achieved if lean or six sigma is followed independently it increases the speed and effectiveness of any process within an organization generally what happens in an organization we not follow only six sigma or only lean you follow both together that combined process will be known as lean six sigma by using lean six sigma organization will be able to maximize the profit building better teams minimize the cost satisfy the customer then you have a concept for process innovation process innovation means implementation of new or significantly improved production or delivery method including significant changes in the technique equipment or software business process re-engineering see hammer there is a Professor Nim Hammer, who has defined business process in engineering, he says that it is fundamental rethinking, fundamental rethinking, radical redesign, radical redesign of business process to achieve dramatic improvements in the critical contemporary measures of performance, is cost, quality, service, and speed. Fund See, whenever you think a uh, case in me, let's repeat what you what will you remember when I say case in small and canvas improvement six sigma zero defects like that. If you was Tell if someone tells you what's a business process engineering, you should remind this. Remember these three keywords: fundamental rethinking, radical redesign, dramatic improvement. Fundamental rethinking, radical redesign, and dramatic improvement. Fundamental rethinking and radical re uh, redesign should be there in the business process, which is will help you to achieve dramatic improvement in the contemporary measures, which is nothing but the cost, quality, service, and the speed. Business process reengineering. What stage of business process reengineering? I have to identify first everything. It will be identification. Identification, not define. Define and begin. Both similar, right? Identification. Then rationalization, which means I have to discard the non-value added process. Okay. Then redesign. After uh, redesign the entire process only by having the value added activities and reassembly. Reengineer process have to be implemented now. Process validation is commonly used in business process reengineering as a technique to identify and analyze the process that has strategic significance. to the organization as a whole so with this we have completed the lean system and innovation chapter in scmp and we have achieved the target also within 15 minutes we have come to the entire chapter okay stay tuned we'll 
please do hit the like button i'm requesting you please do hit the like button if you really find this video as useful thank you so much stay tuned